This is a video of the electron transport chain of aerobic respiration. The electron transport chain is found in the inner mitochondrial membrane. And it is a whole bunch of protein complexes that are embedded in this membrane. What it does is it captures the electrons from the donor molecules that are made in the Krebs cycle and glycolysis and pumps hydrogen ions into the membrane space in order to then use chemiosmosis to make ATP. The parts of the electron transport chain are NADH dehydrogenase, cytochrome BC1, and cytochrome oxidase. And there are also the ATP synthase, which should be familiar from the light reaction, and hence going to make ATP using the same process. There are also electron carriers, mobile electron carriers, that you do not need to worry about the names. Same with the other enzymes, you just need to basically know that they're enzymes. Then there's NADH and electrons that were made in the Krebs cycle, hydrogen ions, molecular oxygen, water, and ADP and inorganic phosphate which combine to form ATP. So the, to start off with, the NADH and or the FADH2 come in to the first enzyme, NADH dehydrogenase, and what happens is it takes the electrons, and as they're taking the electrons to, to make NAD+, it pumps the hydrogen ions. Same thing with as these electrons move to the next cytochrome, the electrons help pump hydrogen ions again into the inner membrane space and the electrons keep on getting carried. Basically, for every electron being moved through, one hydrogen ion is pumping. As this is occurring, you're creating your concentration gradient of hydrogen ions. And this whole process is started by NADH or FADH2 giving up their electrons. So it's, again, oxidation and reduction reactions. When there are a lot of electrons found in that last, protein, oxygen comes into play, takes the electrons, combines with hydrogen to perform to form water. Now if this didn't happen, you'd basically end up with way too many electrons in that last place and no more electrons would be able to get there. This also creates your <laughs> hydrogen ion concentration gradient and the ATP synthase is able to use this concentration gradient and as the hydrogen ions move through the ATP synthase, ATP captures that energy and is made. So the final products of the electron transport chain are ATP and water. And that's why the oxygen is so, so important because it is known as the final electron acceptor. Without it, this would not continue. There would be a backup of electrons and therefore no more electron transport chain.